This case will demonstrate the two-stage surgical technique for placement of a 4.5 by 6 mm Integra CP implant in the area of a mandibular right first molar. After clinical and radiographic examination of the site, a crestal incision is made. A retraction suture is placed to keep the flap open while preparing the osteotomy. The osteotomy is initiated with a 2 mm pilot drill rotating at 1100 RPM with external irrigation. The drill is used with a pumping action to a depth of 8 mm as measured from the interproximal crystal bone. A gold colored paralleling pin is then placed into the pilot osteotomy confirm the appropriateness of the osteotomy's position and its trajectory. The osteotomy is widened with the use of a latch reamer attached to a 400 to 1 handpiece. Beginning at 2.5 millimeters, the osteotomy is widened in half millimeter increments using subsequently wider latch reamers rotating at 50 RPM without irrigation. The final latch reamer is the gray 4.5 mm latch reamer, which matches the diameter of the intended implant. Prior to placing the implant, the depth gauge is used to confirm the depth of the osteotomy. A 4.5 by 6 mm Integra CP implant is removed from its sterile packaging and transported to the osteotomy using the black healing plug. The black healing plug is removed and the implant is fully seated using a 3 mm seating tip attached to a threaded straight handle. The black healing plug is then placed back into the implant's well and the same seating tip is used to seat the black healing plug prior to its being cut. The harvested autogenous bone collected during latch reaming is placed over the shoulder of the implant. The site is sutured and the radiograph is taken. This completes the surgical technique for the placement of a Bicon short implant in the area of the mandibular right first molar. Thank you for having watched.